Hello class, so in this video we're going to be going over how to actually set up a document in LaTeX. So I'll be using Tech Studio. chances are you'll be using Overleaf. It's literally the same codes, I just like to use this because we can see it better. So the first thing I'm doing is going to declare what's called the document class. I put 12 point and article. Essentially that just gives us 12 point font, and article is just a, just just use it for now. Um, there are other classes that you can use. You don't need to worry about what that is just yet. So in between document class and begin document is something called the preamble. That's where you're going to put a bunch of packages that allow the thing to know what you're doing. And, and then nothing after that is called the preamble. That's just the document itself. So one thing that might be important is margins. Well, not might be, it is. So here's the easiest way to set the margins. So do exactly that. And then you will have one inch margins all around. So let's write something and see what that looks like with the written thing. So hit that button, that's compile. And then you'll see that this turns into that. Okay, so you can zoom out so you can see the actual margins itself. If you were to do that without setting the margins, it would be bizarre looking. So let's do some custom margins now. Mm, let's see, what should we do? Uh, let's try left being one inch, right being two inches top being a half inch and the bottom being also a, a half inch. So I'm going to comment that out. I'll explain what that is in another video. So use package and then oops, make sure you choose the correct thing. So left equals one in, right equals two in, top equals 0.5 in. You don't need the zero. I just like to put the zero um, for visual reasons. and you got geometry there. And then look, the top margin is a lot smaller than it was before. So it's pretty clear that that happened. So here's an example of what not to do. So you need to be very, very, very detail oriented. Do not do this. Notice that I changed the brace and brackets. And now I'm going to do something else kind of bad. So left equals one in, that's fine. Bottom minus two in, okay, so you can't do that. You need equals, right, equals one centimeter. You can actually do that. You can do different um, units. Also spelling matters. Let's see why. Okay, so the computer has no idea what you're trying to do. You gotta spell things right, you have to write syntax. You have to have braces and brackets in the right place. So do not do these things. Make sure that if you need to, you can literally just copy this stuff and use it for everything. But obviously think about what are you doing for the margins. If they're all the same, do that thing. So now you might be thinking, well, how about images? How do we get that? There's a thing called the graphic X package. We'll talk about it a little bit later in a different video because it does require a bit of understanding of things. So don't worry about it for now. I'll cover it later, but there is a way to do it and it's actually pretty nice.